This is The Jolt with Larry Flick on Sirius XM Out Q108. Q108. Too far to start back in now, then you probably got a whole lot of questions, but sometimes not knowing is a blessing. So hold on, pray hard. The sunrise when a new day starts. That is a song I know you've been loving because we've been playing it a lot here on The Jolt. That is new music by Miss Shaka Khan. That's called It's Not Over featuring Lecrae on rap. It's uh, 41 past the hour on this Wednesday, April 17th. I'm Larry Flick, and this is The Jolt on Sirius XM LQ 108. And we are promising to be gentle with Miss Khan because it's early. <laughs> It's early. How we get rock stars up this early, I don't know. But thank you for coming. And you look gorgeous. Thank you. So nice to see you. It's good to be here. Are you keeping well? Are you keeping fit? Well, you look fit, so you must be keeping fit. I'm holding it down. Holding it down, Mm -hmm. honey. Giving us a little bit of inspiration. Of course, she's she's showing up, though, with with chocolates. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? It's like the chocolates, baby. Mm. And a candle, a little... A little Can candle in there, there too. Very nice. Is brought, there? So, Do you know I enjoy? She, uh, Shaka, Miss Khan brought us b- b- no goodies. No candle. Wait, it's here. Okay, good. Is it in there? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's a, I didn't um, want to be, see. I didn't want to be ghetto and rip into the bag. You like, know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. a, that's a sample candle, and it's called Kana Sutra. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. you can go to uh, my web, my website, my website. <laughs> Right. And you, and you can go to the website and you can you can get your hands on all this good right. stuff oh, in full guys. size form. Full mm. glory. Excuse me. So uh, congratulations on on um, 
uh, the anniversary of 40 years in music. Mm -hmm. um, how does it feel to wake up and see that number in front of you? Well, I didn't wake up and see the number in front of me. Somebody had to pound it into my head because I was like, what? What 40 what? <laughs> really? Was it one yeah, of those things where people were saying to you, you know. You've been in this business 40 years. My, for a my, minute. Uh, my sister, you know, came and up with this b brilliant idea to do this since it's all, it's all happening in the same year. Yeah, there were 13. all these various projects going on with Ms. Well, Khan what I'm trying to say about. is that um, I have 40 years in the business as of this year. Right. And um, I'm 60 years old as of this year. 60 looks sure does mm. look good. Mm. <laughs> Thank sure you. does look good. Well, you started very young, 20. Yes, I did. And so... Well, you know, actually, in, in actuality, it, well, we're, we're just saying from the time that I signed my first record deal... Right. ...and really became, you know... It takes a minute to sign that deal. Yeah, it takes a minute. Before you get there. For you, most. It takes a while. It takes a while. But it's funny because I can't remember a time when you know, I wasn't listening to your music. Dig. I've been around that long. I know. Well, so have I. <laughs> so, the, but why you look younger than me? <laughs> Just saying. Well, it's jeans. <laughs> <laughs> A very tight pair. Uh, yeah. How you doing? Okay, so 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 uh, Shaka Khan who is a ten-time Grammy Award winner, as if you did not already know that. Um, has many many things going on. Um, including a CD called The Icon Project Alive. Mm. And what can you tell us about this project? Uh, the, it, well, this song that we just heard is on this project, correct? Yes. And it That's also, the first single from this right, project. Right, and it has, uh, it has um, uh, various pieces of, of, uh, of Ms. Khan's career. Uh, some of it's live, isn't it? Yes, as as it will be, it. we're trying to, well, yeah, for the most part, the CD is live, um, with the exception of maybe... Four to six and a handful of tracks just yeah, add a little we, spice to it. See, and this is going to consist of um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing uh, at least half of the CD will be um, new songs, all new, and um, I'll be uh, and, and and our whole approach to this CD is to educate and remind people of what music. Is music comes from people, mm. not from machines. Not from machines. You are no. you are you are mm. truly singing. And my there song. are so many uh, young, uh, brilliant artists today who don't even know what an al alto sax looks like. They don't know what a drum kit looks like. You know, because they wow. got their beats in a in a in electronic box. Um, uh, and to bring back music back to where it is supposed to be, it is an expression of a human being from his heart. Yeah. No. So, uh, it's so we're going to do a lot of the songs are going to be sort of organic, an organic, you know, application and back to basics, as they yes, say. Yes, absolutely. That must yeah. be very, very exciting, and it must. It, it, you're the perfect person to to herald this this return to to organic music. In that, you, when I think of you, I think of you. I've seen you perform many, many times, mm. and I think of you on a live stage. Um, to me, that's when you're at your best. Absolutely, and and that's and what I feel too. <laughs> and interacting with with the musicians, you haven't lived until you've seen Shaka Khan uh, just throw down with a bass player, and then the guitar player, and then the crowd goes a little crazy. It all kind of goes on, mm -hmm. and um, you it, it must be it must be um, difficult to to see where music has gone, even though in some ways music is flourishing because, yeah. it, you know, you have to be continually reinventing. But it must be frustrating that there are people who don't know what instruments look like, certain yeah. instruments look like. And then if you said to them, hey, can you play your song for me right now, you know, with a guitar or a piano, they would look at you and maybe cry. Like, like a cuckoo, yes. Yeah. And, uh, or if you can just, some of the singers, you know, with um, all the applications that you can cook, put to on a vocal. Yeah. You know. It's cool. It's really me. It's, it's nuts. And uh, if you just ask a singer, when they tell you, they walk up to me and say, tell me, you know, I'm a singer, I say, sing. Do it. Do it right now on the spot. And how many? A lot of them can't. I was going to say, and how many of them just get really scared? They get petrified. And then um, there are a lot of young artists today who cannot go on stage and, and uh, you know, perform the song that is playing on the, on the radio or whatever. They just don't have that ability. It takes, the thing is, is that like any 
uh, life's endeavor or any calling, it takes practice and doing and doing and doing mm. and, and, and failing and winning. And, you, you know, you have to, that's paying dues, we call it. Yeah, and there's, there's not a, there doesn't seem like there's a lot of room for failing for artists right well, now. If no, you, if you've, I've, I've had some big failures, but they've been more personal failures than, you know, and, and plus I, I've learned how to play off a lot of my faux pas and failures. Failures, you know. <laughs> well, a real yeah. artist knows how to make it look like oh, I meant to do that. Yeah, I meant to do that. Exactly. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Exactly. That takes training, and it takes it takes training. It takes yeah. time. And uh, and these and a lot of these kids today have not worked the chilling circuit. They have mm-hmm. not worked them circuits. Yeah. They have not been able to prove themselves in front of in front of really, really mean people, you know, <laughs> who are out to like who come to the concert saying. Uh, Okay, so what's this person going to do? Arms folded, just looking at you. Arms folded, right? That, that like, body language. Like, turn me on right mm-hmm. now, yeah, or I'm going to turn okay. you out the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's Miss Shaka Khan mm-hmm. joining us here in The Jolt. It's about 12 before the hour. Um, now, actually, if you pick up a, a copy of uh, Billboard, you can actually order it online if you don't see it on a newsstand. The cover is interactive. Yes. And you can get all... You can, it's just, I, I, I don't know, know if this technology is, in, is, it, is new, but for Billboard... Is the first time uh, I was saying, you know, has, has applicated, applicated this technology. I worked at Billboard for 14 years. They barely know how to get the print out. So, so you know. Ooh, okay, so there. <laughs> so they've come a long way. So they figured it out then, you know. Someone, yeah. They actually pay some money to someone to figure it out. Ooh, that's right. It wasn't when I was there. But anyway, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so so, so, so do, you, do, you, do you feel how part of, part of what I've always respected about what you've accomplished is that you not only came up doing it live, but you were the front person of a band. Yeah. How would you How would you characterize that period of your life? The the, the you talking about my, my time with Rufus? Mm-hmm. Well, but you were in bands before Rufus, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, a few couple of bands. You know, right. But Rufus was, like was the after, band that most people school, know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Rufus was the band everyone knows about. Yeah. So, well, yeah, it was my first professional. Okay. So endeavor. when people, so what? Uh, what do you feel you learned from being the front person of a band? that you took into being a solo uh, performer? Well, I had to become a solo performer because we were, we were a, de- uh, a democratic band. So that means every song that we decided to record or to perform, we took a, a vote. Oh, and that as, would as, not as, work. And as I was the only girl, of course, I was, yep. you know, I didn't get the votes. that I, And only when I threw, you know, complete and utter temper tantrums and, you know, yeah. So I would have thought you would have won the lot because if, if yeah. she ain't singing, ain't no song. <laughs> they could play all, they could jam all they want. Well, what that did was that really, you know, it, it, it helped me, you know, to learn how to take something that I wasn't crazy about and, and find something it in it that I could make it so that I could live with it. So when you, you know? when you, when you found yourself finally in complete control of your creative destiny, um, was there any part of that that was nerve-wracking, or did it all feel like liberation? Well, it felt like liberation, but fear. Yeah. Because I was used to having you know, I, I used to have my two crutches on either side of me, Tony and Bobby. So it took a, at least a good two years, two, mm. more than that even, before I, I, I got comfortable with just being a solo artist and having to be there on my own and generate energy and generate you know the whole... Uh, just to get to get comfortable and to feel, you know, unafraid to talk to people. And so, was there ever a point, or has there been a point where you've allowed yourself to soak in who you've become to people as a performer, as an artist? I have no idea. You have no <laughs> idea what that means what, to people. What? No, no. I have like no we're, idea. we're 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 shaking on our boots before you walk into the room mm-hmm. because it's like Miss Shaka Khan is walking into the room. That doesn't resonate at all to you. It resonates that you that people are excited mm-hmm. when when they hear come when I'm on stage when they stand up when I when I enter a stage when things like that happen. However, my self image is uh, probably warped and. 